let's keep talking about the package pandas. And now we are talking about the method job NA. Uh, we are using a new data set, uh, also from BU. You should pause the video now and uh, and type this and enforce it for this data set. Uh, what's going on with this? What is going on? Oh, because I turned on the, the L, airline mode. Now we should be able to access. See, this is a raised HTTP arrow. Uh, it's the arrow that we didn't mention uh, when we talk about the exception handling. This is the new arrow raised. It's a bit slow. Let's just give it a little moment. And uh, now this data, unlike the professor salary data, this data has a lot of missing variables, but you do not really see them if you just type it, if you just uh, export it here, because it has so many observations. It has uh, 160,000 observations. It has uh, this many rows and, uh, and use what we learned before. And it has this many observations and 16 variables. And uh, these are the variables it has. Uh, this is a year, month, day, uh, and the departure time of the airline and the departure, whether the departure is, I think it's a delay time, and also arrival time, arrival delay uh, time, and the carrier flight origin destination distance hour minutes okay uh, so this is the airline time data so we want to know whether what what observations have missing value so it says you can just use this remember that we use the head to export just the 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 first several the first five observations in the whole subsample of data that have missing values. And uh, you can see that it has, this observation has missing value L time, this observation has missing value NAN, uh, uh, departure time, and this also has a, a missing value in departure time. All of them have the missing value in L time. And some of them have the missing value in um, uh, hour or minute. Um, to use the Boolean, so this is the Boolean uh, data. To use a Boolean data to um, to to extract a subsample of uh, of the data is very similar to the NumPy that we just talked about. So what is this? This is uh, is now is now is to say whether it is a uh, it it is missing. Okay, it is an NAN. So you see, like for for whatever you see, the this is uh, false because. Uh, because they uh, from this we see, we see that all of them they, they are they are values okay they're not missing so to to actually see them I think you probably want to maybe uh, four okay four zero three maybe I just do four zero three four zero three and I want to see whether okay. Uh, you see that these variables they are missing. Okay, they are missing. Uh, let me let me export it. Not export it. I am um, using the wrong term. Um, uh, let me just print it out. So you see that these numbers they are uh, these variables they have the missing value. They don't have a value. But that's why in uh, when you when we use the is now uh, it returns true. Okay. Um, for a for data set, it can be a little bit even more complicated. As you see that this returns whether each value is uh, is missing, and you use the any access equal one to show whether a column has any missing value. So in this is to say, if a 
if a, a, a row, if a row has, if a row has any missing value in any column, you return a true. Okay. Uh, of course, these are false because you see that the, all, all of these are false. But if you want to check. Because it is just a series, I cannot use the axis anymore. Maybe I can just use this. I'm not sure if it can work. Yeah, uh, it can work. So, so it shows that maybe I can do this. Um, <clears throat> So I'm 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 just listing uh, these observations. When each value, whether they are again they are missing value or not. So these are not missing value. Uh, four three and four four they have the missing value in departure time and uh, L time, also in hour and minutes. And um, I can do. Okay, so you. Export you 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 return a list of boolean values that indicates whether they have any value that is missing. So here you see that because you have multiple trues, so a true means that it's a missing value. Okay, it's a missing value. So these two variables, uh, these two observations, they have the missing value. So they have choose and the others they have false. So this is a true false. Boolean value, and you input this value into this, and it's gonna return all the observations that have any, uh, at least one missing value in any column. Okay, so you see that almost everyone, every observation has a missing value of L time. Huh? Okay, so this is uh, a brief introduction of the missing value. And uh, there are a lot of methods to check it, uh, for example, uh, to, to drop the missing values, for example, or to deal with them. Um, let me, uh, maybe I should just use this. Okay. Okay. Oh, maybe I just use this. Yeah. Let's say flights. Missing. Let me save it. Okay. So all of them have the missing values, and uh, if I want to drop the all the missing values, what do I do? I can do. Uh, mm, I think I can use a. Uh, let me take a look at the. This, this data is too large, and it's uh, it's not very easy to to do it. Uh, but I, I can I can first check. I'm not sure if you can see this clearly. See, if I just drop an A, and it's gonna export a. Remember that this this uh, this data frame now has no missing values, and it has one hundred and seven uh, one hundred and fifty seven thousand and nine hundred. Rows. Well, compared to the original, compared to the original data frame that has uh, one hundred sixty thousand rows, so uh, about nearly three thousand rows are dropped. These observations are dropped because they have at least the one missing value. Okay, I think uh, maybe this. Uh this could be an easier example. Yeah, uh, could be an easier example. So we have um, um, different ways of dealing this, uh, dealing with the missing values. Uh, job A will drop all the observations with all missing values, and the job A with option how equals. Remember there is a there is a quotation here. Um, 
quotes and uh, it means that you only drop the observations where all cells are missing okay and um, you use x is equal one you only drop the columns if all the values values in this column are missing okay you can also drop rows that contain less than five non-missing values remember it's less than five non-missing values so you only retain the the so for example you are you're only retaining the rows with at least the five non-missing values you can also add the x is equal one so you're gonna retain only the columns that contain at least the five non-missing values fill in a will replace all the missing values with zeros is now will return true if the uh, value is missing this is what we just use here and uh, not now is returning true for non-missing values okay if you go to documentation uh, you can just uh, google pandas dot data frame dot job a you will find this uh, this documentation this documentation tells you like in the, for this method it has a lot of options for example you have the in place equals true false that means when you just uh, use a df data frame dot drop na blah 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 in place equals false then it's going to return you a subset with non-missing variables but it doesn't really change the original data frame if you if you put this as in place equals true then not only uh, data frame the uh, it will be dropped uh, the, the the missing value observations will be dropped the original data frame will be dropped uh, will will be changed automatically uh, that is uh, that is uh, uh, meaning of in place okay so uh, with, without in place you will have to do this to to change the original df with the in place equals true you only have to do this okay these are these two uh, statements are equivalent you can also have the thresh how how can be all or any okay this is uh, so any means that if any uh, missing values are present then you drop that label you drop the column or the row uh, depending on what access you you, you have um, uh, or if you choose how equals all then you only drop the row or column if all values are missing okay see so, um, I'm I just have like this data frame and this data frame has four columns and two rows and um, um, on the first row you have two missing variable two missing values for variable a and variable c for the for the second row you have three missing values for columns a b and c okay it shows this and if you drop an a it means that you only drop the columns okay access equals one you only drop the columns when all the values in this column are missing so we are talking about a and c and it's going to return that's only b and d okay remember that df is not because uh, it's not affected it's not changed um, because uh, the default in place is false. If I just uh, add a, uh, in, for example, uh, in place two, then df will be df itself will be uh, changed. Let me just uh, and for this is uh, to job. Or the columns, if any of the column, any value in this column has, uh, is, is missing. So ABC will be dropped and we only have D.
and this is to retain only the rows with at least. I think this is wrong. This is a one. Uh, sorry, the rows uh, that have at least a two. I don't know. I, I think this is the uh, oh, one here. Uh, this uh, only the rows that have at least the two non-missing variables, non-missing values. So it will be this one. If I if I in put the uh, axis equal one, then it's gonna only retain the columns that have at least the two non-missing. Values. It's going to be just a D, right? Because for all the others, they either have no non-missing value or just a one non-missing value. Okay. If I change it to one, it's going to be B and D. B and D. Okay. Pandas data frame is a um, is a two-dimensional or multi-dimensional uh, data sets. It's panel data sets with uh, observations and the columns the col or, or, or variables. If you just have one variable, this variable, this one column is called a series. Okay? The series also has a method called job and name. Say this is a series. And this is a series. And I want to drop in a in place equal false. And I will have I dropped the the index two because its value is missing. Okay, if I change this with two to to two, then S one will be changed. Okay. When you sum the missing data, missing values will be treated as zero. So. Uh, if you calculate the sum of this, uh, here the S1, maybe I just use S1 to this. Uh, uh, okay. Um, see. If you want to calculate the sum of S1, you use this, and uh, it's going to calculate this plus this plus missing, but missing will be treated as zero. Okay, if you just use the sum function, if you have one missing value, then you will return a uh, an AN, which is missing. Um, if you use dot sum, it's going to just uh, give you the sum of, uh, give you the, 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 Original value. I think it's calculating the sum of each row. Okay, uh, maybe you can ask it to check this axis equal one. And uh, no, it doesn't allow you to do this. Okay, you can use zero. Then uh, you can check the, to calculate the sum. Uh, I'm not really very sure about this. Hmm. I'll check. I'll check about this later. If all values are missing, the sum will be equal to uh, on the end. For example, if we have the EF and EF dot A is this is a this is a series, and uh, let's do uh huh, it's still it's still zero. Uh, I think Python three really changed a lot of things because my my uh, although I update this, but uh, not everything. I apologize. This is uh, this this lecture note is based on uh, largely on Python two. Um, I think I will just uh, delete this. Okay. Uh, when you calculate the com sum, cumulative sum, and cumulative product, it's gonna. Gonna ignore the missing values. Okay. 
So S1 itself is 1, 2, so this is 1, and 1 plus 2 is 3, okay? And missing values in group by methods are excluded, just like in R. Uh, many descriptive uh, statistics methods have skip and an option. So, in uh, when you are when you are ha when you are calculating the descriptive statistics, you have in the parentheses you have option for skip and a to control if uh, missing data should be excluded. Okay, uh, the default value is set to be true, unlike R. But I'm not really sure whether the Python three is the same. Um, so I. Uh, I don't 100% say I'm right about this. Okay, now aggregation. So aggregation is to compute the summary statistic about each group. So we actually um, learn it's a little bit similar to group by, but it's not exactly the same. So if you uh, go to documentation, you will see this. And let's take an uh, example. Still remember the flights? Okay, flights is, uh, is a missing value. Okay, um, I want to just have two uh -huh. the the two columns. I will have this. So two columns. Dot aggregate hg aggregates. Uh, it's going to calculate the mean. mean the min, mean, and max for the two variables. Okay, and it calculates uh -huh. why why they are why are they different? I think this must be wrong, or they uh, this must be wrong. Okay. Yep. So I want to use. Uh, This is right. This is right. And if you have a data frame like this, A, B, C, D, four variables, and eight observations from zero indexed from zero to seven, can group by A and B, then calculate the min and max for the grouped set. See, you grouped it by A and B, then A and B will become the new index. Remember that for the AA, there were three observations. These three observations, their AB indexes are all 1, 1. Okay, so this one one, this min max will calculate the min max of C for these three observations. So the min max of C is one, max is one, and D is so this min is five, and max is seven, okay, seven. And for the others, uh, two three. So this is not uh, it doesn't have a duplicate. So uh, they don't have the same indexes like a, a equals two and b equals three, so you only have one observation. Um, but for so, so the min max must be one one and nine nine. Okay, um, the, uh, one one and eight. I'm sorry, that uh, should be one one and eight eight one one and eight eight. Yes. So for these two. Because their A, B's pairs, are, they are the same. So the C, we calculate the mean of C and max of C should be, it should be 1 and 2 and 1 and 9, 1 and 9. And for this, uh, the mean and max are both 3 and mean max are both 1. And for this observation, it only has 1, so indicated by the A and B indexes here. Uh, the, the min max must be 4 and the min max must be 1. Fill in A. Okay. Okay, 
let's so this is a data frame with a bunch of um, missing values you can fill all of the missing values with zero so you will have this okay yeah you, you can also fill the missing values here remember that because I, uh, I do not use the in place uh, equals true so I have uh, the DF unchanged and you can also fill it with, for example, if you put 5, then all of the missing values will be replaced as 5. Uh, if you use F fill or forward fill, it's going to fill the missing value with its previously available value. So here, you can see that NAN, its previous observation is 3, so it's going to be replaced at 3. And this can be, this is also replaced at 3. And this is replaced by 4, the previous value. And since the last value is available at 3, it, it, remain, it remains unchanged. Uh, these four, they are... These four, they are missing values. Um, so all of them, they are missing. Uh, D has no missing value, so it remains unchanged. The reason that we use the four field uh, is that in a lot of on a lot of occasions it can it can be very useful. For example, uh, if A, B, C, D are two stocks and you are looking at the stock price, uh, the indexes are not just the zero to three. It, it's rather rather it's just the time. So it's a transaction value, okay, Tran a transaction price of these stocks. So in some minutes or seconds, it doesn't have any transactions. Then the transaction value will be as the same as before. So we will uh, uh, forward fill the, the, the later prices as the latest transaction price until a new transaction occurs and we will use the new transaction. We will record the new transaction price. Uh, you can also replace the DF is still here. You can also replace the um, replace the, um, uh, the, the missing values in different variables in different columns with different variable variable uh, values. So you can create a values uh, dictionary, and you replace all the missing values in A as zero, in B as one, in C as two. Then you do fill an A, and you have the option of choosing value equals values. Okay. So value is the option, is the option. And values is the dictionary that you just defined. Then you will find that all of these uh, in missing values in column A have been replaced by zero, and uh, the missing value here is replaced by one, and all of them in C, all of the missing values in C are replaced by two. Okay. You can also have another option called the limit. That is, you only replace the first missing value. Okay. The first missing value. This is the first missing value. This is the first missing value for column B. This is the first missing value for column C. If you put them to two, you will find that also the second. Uh, missing value in column A is replaced, and second missing value in column C is replaced. Okay. Uh, job duplicates. So now we have. Uh, data frame like this and uh, and uh, you, you find that there are two rows, two observations, they are duplicates. So how do you drop the duplicate? The easiest one is just to use df.dropduplicates and you find that one disappears here. 
the index one observation is disappears, is 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 uh, is gone, and the and job duplicates actually have a lot of uh, uh, not sure. It has a uh, it has a bunch of uh, has a bunch of uh, arguments that you can use. For example, keep first or in place equals false. In place equals true will change. Do you know how, how I got this? Uh, you just just type this, then automatically it's, it's gonna it's gonna pump up. And if you put the in place equals true, then uh, df itself will be changed. Keep first. You can keep first. Keep last. Okay. You can keep the first uh, for to to use this. You probably want to use a subset because it wants to show um, the, the how how do I how do I uh, let me uh, let me think about the example. Let me use this. Okay, this is a DF. Think about this is the last name. This is the first name. Okay. Um, let me let me just do this. Uh, last name. Last name. First name. And imagine that this is a this is a data for national ID and uh, and. Uh, Maybe it's not national. It's just that in school, uh, you have different people's grade, grade, class, course one, grade. Okay, and you find that for a sep for for the same person one 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 one. It has three records, so there must be something wrong. Okay, for the course one grade, you got the consistent one, so it could be true. And for the course two grade, you got three different ones, and you don't know what's going on. And for the this, this person with the last name three and first name four, you got two records, and you have no idea. So you decide to drop the duplicates. What, what do you do? You do drop the duplicates. And you first choose a subset. Subset equals last name and first name. Okay. And you wanna um, you want a job. See, none of these are entirely the same. None of the rows are entirely the same, but uh, if we choose a subset, it's going to drop the duplicated observation with the same subset variables values. Okay, so you're dropping uh, the default value should be uh, should be keep first. Then you're dropping these two because the, uh, the the last name and first name are both one one, and you are also dropping this. Okay, because uh, the, the index five observation is the same as index. Four observations, so this is uh, dropped, and we only retain one nine for the two course grades. And you can also use uh, keep equals last. Okay. See what is uh, what what is different here? You retain by drop, so you you have three duplicated observations. You are dropping these two and keep the first. Now I'm keeping the last by by using this uh, option. I also drop for these two duplicates. I drop the first and I keep the last. So the last the course uh, the the two course grade of two one they are retained. Okay, this is job duplicates. Uh, transpose. Transpose is, uh, is, is pretty easy, so uh, you know, I think you can understand it right away. Uh, see, this is, a, whoop, this is a DF, and the transpose is, hey, you just uh, switch the, 
switch the, 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 the column index and the column index and the variable names, Co column index and the, and the row index. And this is, uh, this is data frame. Unique. This is a data frame, uh, variable, two variables, uh, five observations. If you want to have the, want to want to know the, the the unique value of series A, variable A, you see that is one three one four three. So there are three unique values. What do you do? You can do use pd dot unique, okay, and it returns the array. You can also use the set that we learned before. Lecture number one, or so can generate a, uh, a unique set of uh, the values. Okay, let's let's stop here and take a break. And uh, next video we will talk about the two date time.